crew, welcome to Today Pass. I'm joined by Eduardo today. Eduardo is going to do a mock test, but just before we get started, would you like to share with us what your history of driving is? I drive, I drive before in, in Spain with my uncle for a couple of while, and in London I'm doing lessons in North London with my, with my instructor. Okay, so there's a couple of new things. North London, West London now, so that's new. Yeah. And also, Eduardo has literally just had five minutes just to practice and get warmed up in this car. So some of the show me, tell me questions might be new to him. So I'll try to keep them relevant to what you may already know. Okay. But if he's not sure, if you're not sure, then just ask me. Obviously, if it's something you don't know, then just tell me. Okay. 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 All right. So we're going to be driving for about 40 minutes now. This is your mock test. All of the major, sorry, correction. Serious dangerous driver faults would be up here in red. All of the minor faults or advisory faults would be up here in yellow. And all the good points would be up here in green. And I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of green marks here today. So are you ready to start, Eduardo? Yeah, okay, yeah. so what I'd like you to do, just double checking we've got our seatbelts on, yep. is follow the road ahead at all times. Yeah. If I need you to turn left or right, I will do, I will tell you in good time. Um, and when you're ready, drive on, please. So we're off to a good start. Eduardo's setting a nice first impression, really twisting his body, moving his shoulders, and looking into the blind spots, just like we can see here. So really nice again, twisting, looking over the shoulders, into the blind spots, knows it's safe, and moving off. Just another reminder that we're giving away a free driving test booking once the channel reaches 4,000 subscribers. All you need to do is subscribe and enter in the comments down below, free driving test. Good luck. If you are taking your driving test at Pinner, we have just passed it on the right hand side. This may be one of the roads that you'll do at the very start of your driving test. Bear in mind there is a school here, so you may have lots of parked cars depending on the time of day and plenty of pedestrians. Look out for the zebra crossings as they may be obscured by parked vehicles hiding pedestrians that may use the crossing. So exercise caution looking under, over or around vehicles. Okay Eduardo, I'd like you to find a convenient place to pull up on the left please. When pulling up in a convenient or safe place on the left. Look out for portions of the road with raised curb and no lines. It's okay, don't worry about it now because there aren't many spaces up here. So just follow the road ahead, please. Eduardo is a very good driver and he demonstrates this here. This is the first time he's ever been in this area and the way he deals with the next section of this road is a sign of an experienced driver. Remember the two golden rules, number one, less space, less speed, and number two, less C, less speed. This is a blind bend. He exercises caution, reducing the vehicle's speed until he can see into the new part of the road and knows it's safe to accelerate. He's very good at checking his mirrors, and this is an excellent habit to have. At the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right, please. Eduardo is approaching a lorry parked at the side of the road. This is a point where we'll need to change direction. Look what I mentioned earlier about his very good habit of checking mirrors as he checks his right hand side here making sure there's no overtaking vehicles and it's safe to proceed. Right, Eduardo, we're going to start your independent drive. Yeah. I'd like you to follow the signs towards Harrow Pinner, please. What's Harrow Pinner? Okay. Mm -hmm. The next sign is just a bit further down. You might be able to see it. Okay. A bit hard to read from this distance, so. So Pinner is going to be the third. 
It's actually the fourth exit. The so thanks exit. for asking. Yes, oh. number three and four are so close together. So do your best. Okay. Just be safe. That's all that matters. Next sign is like half a mile down the road, okay? Okay. All right, lovely. So, um, Eduardo, would you be able to tell me What's the road legal tyre requirements? It's going to be 1.6 millimetres. Lovely. Thank you very much. Worthwhile to mention that you don't want to have any damage to the side of the tyre, so no cuts or bulges. Tell you what, in the summertime, wearing these masks is going to be quite know, uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah and really. also, in Spain, you have to wear it in the, in the beach as well. In the beach? Yeah. Wow, imagine the suntan. <laughs> if you're a gacho, it's, it's, a, it's a big, it's wow. a 200 fan. Okay, we're getting close to the sign. Do your best to follow it towards Pinaharo again. Pinaharo, okay, perfect. So it's going to be the second exit. It's two roundabouts. roundabouts yeah. So there's lots of good factors here from Eduardo. He's asking directions early if he's not sure of where he may be going next or asked to be going next. And you can see he's identifying the junctions by his use of speed. He's really slowing down early, making effective observations. Now, what's quite common when there's a double roundabout system is that people misplace where the second junction is. So now you can clearly see Eduardo's noticed. He's adjusting his speed, having a good look to the right-hand side to see if he needs to give priority. And then he knows it's safe to proceed. All right, lovely. Forget signs now. I'd like you just to continue to follow the road ahead. Okay, today crew, what I would love is some comments for new camera angles or any suggestions to try and prove this experience so it really makes you feel like you're the driver, giving you all the information on the screen that you need to try and make the own decisions for yourself and at the same time learn from the guest driver that we have. So please, please, please help me make the best content for you by writing down in the comments below. Thank you. Okay, what I'd like to do, Eduardo, is find a convenient place to pull up on the left, please. Mm -hmm. You just keep following the road until you see a place, that's fine. It's quite a long road, you might see some more places further down. When learning to drive and you're steering around a long left bend, it's very common to end up getting too close to what is called the apex. An apex is the very top part of a turn. This could be described as maybe the tip of a mountain. If you can picture this, this is the very top part of the corner. When steering left, the car will get closer and closer until eventually hitting the apex. Oh, shit, just about to hit the you just pull up here on the left for me, please. Just before those double yellow lines would be brilliant. This is Eduardo's first serious driver fault, as I needed to take control of the steering to avoid an accident. Yeah. Okay, we're going to continue with independent drive now. Yeah. So in a moment, I'd like you to drive on yeah. and follow the signs towards Stanmore. Stanmore. Yes, please. Yeah. So when you're ready, if it's safe, drive on and follow the signs. Stanmore, please. So here I've slowed the footage down. 
Has Eduardo looked into the blind spot? It's still quite difficult to tell even with the luxury of this angle. However, what I like to say to my students is like you're trying to win the Oscar. Put on your best performance, twist your shoulders, move your body and head to demonstrate you've clearly looked into the blind spot. Sign is a little bit hidden by the tree. Yeah. Let me know if you have any problems reading it and I will help you. Is that with the... It is, yes. The second. Straight ahead. Straight ahead, yes. Nice communication skills from Eduardo, communicating with the examiner and having a two-way conversation. Just repeating back the directions is a nice way to confirm where you're being asked to go. If you've miscommunicated, then the examiner may have the opportunity to reiterate the directions to help you understand which way the examiner would like you to go. This is really good, nice and confident from Eduardo, and he's doing this early on. I suggest if you ask for directions, you do this as early as possible, as it's not safe for anybody to give you directions when you're inside a junction. I bet £100 Eduardo scored very high on his hazard awareness test. If you look now how he's watching very long into the road, and the concentration with frequent mirror checks and scanning for the next hazard. See the vehicle from the side road fast approaching? Eduardo's seen it all before. He's checked his mirrors, knows it's safe for any change of speed and direction, isn't phased, maintains his speed and continues as he has priority and knows it's safe to do so. If I could give bonus points, this is clearly one of these occasions. Well done, Eduardo. Probably something to do with the amount of coffee I'm drinking, but I'm quite talkative and I'd love to talk about this next roundabout. Now it's very common because there's no lane markings on the roundabout for people just to go down the middle section or even use the right lane altogether to go straight ahead. Now remember we'd like to use the left lane and maintain the left lane on the roundabout. Look at the lane discipline here, absolutely perfect. It's gonna be, it is, yes. That sound is the car telling us that we've reached our speed limit. Continue to keep looking for signs, but if you do hear a warning chime on your vehicle, listen, react, and adjust your speed limit. So where are you gonna go? Straight ahead, please, second exit. Another very good example from Eduardo here of reading the road. Shortly after exiting the roundabout, the two lanes merge into one. Looking at the road markings and planning ahead, he checks his interior mirror and right exterior mirror for overtaking traffic. Okay, that's the end of the independent drive. I'll give you directions again. Okay. At the roundabout, turn left, please. First exit, turning left. Excellent mirrors, signal, position, change of lane on this occasion because we're turning left, speed and look routine from Eduardo. But what's really nice is that the signal cancels and immediately he puts it back on to make other road users aware of his intentions. Eduardo is reading the road and reading the signs. He sees the speed change from 30 to 40 miles an hour and acknowledges this and demonstrates a good use of speed by accelerating to the speed limit. Okay, Eduardo, um, if you wouldn't mind when it's safe, show me how you beep the horn, please. Lovely, thank you very much. What goes up must come down, and the roundabout is at the bottom of the downhill gradient. This will increase the speed of the vehicle, so it's important to maintain brake pressure to keep control as you approach the junction. 
Okay, there'll be a mini roundabout coming up a yeah. bit further down. Yeah. Just follow the road ahead, please. And take the next road on the left, please. And then that's what hmm. And if you could find a safe, convenient place to pull up on the left. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, anywhere that's safe and convenient. Thank you. Okay. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to drive on. Yeah. We're going to do your manoeuvre. Okay. I'm going to ask you to pull over and stop on the right-hand side of the road. Now, just be for the purpose of this manoeuvre, if there are any driveways, yeah. you're allowed to stop in front of them. Okay. So when you're ready, if it's safe, drive on. Yeah. And then if you can find a place to park with or road. without a driveway, just pull up somewhere on the right, right for okay. me, please. Yeah. Right, we're only going to be a second, so we're not going to obstruct anybody's driveway for longer than a few seconds. So it's okay on this occasion. Okay. When you're ready. Another excellent demonstration of effective observations here by really twisting the body and moving the head to look into the blind spots. Making sure it's safe before making the decision to move off. Now, Eduardo's just confirming what he needs to do. So we're gonna park here. Yeah, anywhere. And what's really nice now is that he notices that there's a car following. Eduardo's already put his indicator on and now showing brake light signals. The vehicle decides to pass and Eduardo makes effective observations before moving over to the right. I would suggest taking a longer line, more smooth towards the silver vehicle ahead but Eduardo manages to pull back control and straighten the vehicle. Yeah, almost. Okay, now I'd like you to reverse back two car lengths in a straight line, please. Okay, Pretty good. So this is the first time Eduardo's using reverse. <clears throat> and if you want it, it's there, but you don't need to use it. When you're ready, reversing two car lengths in a straight line and keep a reasonable distance from the curb on your side, please. When you decide that you have finished the maneuver, double check that you're a reasonable distance from the curb and roughly two car lengths. On this occasion, we are more than a reasonable distance and it's a serious driver for us. Yeah, uh, are you happy? Is it two car lengths, reasonable distance from the curb? Yeah. Okay, when you're ready, you're finished. Yeah. When you're ready, drive on, please. Thank you very much. Okay, and just uh, one more time, I'd like you to pull up on the left in a convenient place. Okay. Thank you very much, and drive on when you're ready, please. That's a good parking job, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Look at that. It's like they slammed into the tree. Yeah, people are driving just like. It's a nice car as well.
At the end of the road, I'd like you to turn left. At the end of the road, there is another vehicle turning into our road. It's safest to wait until the vehicle's fully turned, which will give Eduardo more space. He applies more left steering, which unfortunately rolls the back wheel over the pavement. This is a serious driver fault for control steering. Okay, there's a black vehicle on the left. It yeah. might actually be a learner. Yeah. Would you pull up behind that learner vehicle, just in the parking space, just behind it here? Okay. Thank you. Just here. Right. Lovely. And keep moving up until the yellow line, please. So there's about a car length between us. Yeah. That's amazing. Perfect. Take your time. Drive on when you're ready. Okay. Eduardo's clearly demonstrating effective observations to the left into his least dangerous blind spot, but has he really checked over to the right hand side blind spot? Have a look at this image and cast your own opinion in the comments down below. It's important to know when we stop at a roundabout that we need to give priority to all lanes of traffic on the right. Sometimes when learning to drive, we only believe that it's the lane that's closest to our vehicle that has importance, where in fact all lanes on the right hand side have priority and are of equal importance as any lane could change direction at any time. So to be safe, often a good question to ask yourself to know when it's safe to drive out at any junction is would you walk out? Usually when it's safe to walk out, this will be a good time to drive out. Straight on the roundabout, second exit. I now need to take control and stop the vehicle for a dangerous driver fault response to other road users. We have to stop you. Oh. There's a car here on the right. And just need to give priority to the right. Yeah. So if there's no. Yeah, really cool. I think it was going. So. Okay. Just need to double check. Yeah. You know? Sometimes okay. people change their minds. Oh, okay. okay. We'll just take this next exit here. At the next roundabout, I'd like you to take the third exit, yeah. turning right. The third exit in the roundabout? Correct. Okay. Thank you. It's a very long road, we're just going to keep following the road. Okay. This next section on the mock test is particularly difficult as Eduardo has a challenge of passing through a car length of 6 foot 6 wide width restrictions that are not straight. I'd like you to take the next road on the right please. Okay, right, okay. 
Eduardo steers into the pole on the left and I need to stop the vehicle. This is a serious driver fault for clearance. Just had to stop you there. You just see the pole here. Yeah. It's very close. Yeah. And have a look at your right pole. Can you see the difference? Oh, yeah. It's a pole there, it is there, isn't it? Yeah. The right pole is easier for you to see. Yeah. So it might be better to get closer to the right pole because okay. you can see your distance. Okay. I can't make the drop. I know, it's not very pleasant. Unfortunately, it's just what we have to, to oh. deal with. You know, you know what we, we were saying there in that pool? Yep. You couldn't go to that to that side on the street. To the right side? Yeah. Uh, where the poles were? Yeah. Do you mean you can go there or you can't Yeah, I mean, if you there? can. We're just going to follow the road okay. around right. here. So just to give you an idea where we're going to go. Yeah. Um, you could of being closer to the right. Yeah. If, I'm not sure if that answers your question or... Am you I know, you know, you know the pole. Yeah. There was one side over there. Yes. Can you go that side as well? Oh no, no, oh. that's just for buses. Oh, you okay. mean the middle section? Yeah. Yeah, that's just for buses. You're oh. not allowed to use that part. Okay, Eduardo. Um, at the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right. Okay. Just after you turn right, we're going to look for somewhere to pull up. Oh. Maybe we won't be able to do that today. There's quite a lot of cars parked. All right, a uh, bit different. I'm going to ask you to just come to a stop here on the left, if you can. Yeah, yeah anywhere, just as long as there's space for people to pass us. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just stop for me. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. That's the alloy. Alloy. And the alloy's up against the paper. So I go back yes, up. good idea. Uh, so just pushing up. Lovely. Excellent. Well done. I think there's a bit of a drain as well, so it's kind of holding the wheel. Yeah, I can feel that. All right, and that's fine. You just uh, make your vehicle the way you want it, as long as there's space to park for people to pass, it's okay, this is fine. Okay, Lovely, all right, thank you very much. Right, now this is a bit different <clears throat> to probably anything that you might have done before. If you were doing a driving test here, the examiners would stop you here mm. and tell you what I'm about to tell you. Okay. So, this might help you. We're currently parked here. Yeah. We're going to be coming on to this half of the dual carriageway. Yeah. Then, we're going to be turning right through the center of the dual carriageway. The next right. And it's effectively a U-turn. So, if it's safe, we're going to turn right onto the opposite side of the dual carriageway. Okay. If you have a look out the back window, you might see there's like a yellow, um, it's a yellow sign with a blue arrow on it. So, there's like a blue circle and a yellow sign like mm. this. Can you see that out the back window? It's hard to see, but you might see it in the center of the road. That's where the gap is. That's where that gap yeah, is. Okay. Okay? okay. Right. Any questions about these directions? No. All right. When you're ready and it's safe, I'd like you to try your best to follow those directions. Okay. Thank you. Gonna have to stop you, Eduardo. Yeah. You know earlier we hit the left. Yeah. Just have a look at your left mirror. Yeah, it's true. Can you see what's about to happen? Yeah. Alright, so it might be safer for the car just to reverse 
otherwise you might damage the vehicle. It's a very difficult junction here because you want to leave space for cars that might come in. Yeah. But at the same time, we don't want to hit the pavement. So it's a bit difficult. Just try your best and um, carry on. See the gap there? We're going. Just on the right. Okay. Yeah. When approaching a junction with no road markings, it's important to keep to the left hand side. This will allow space for the oncoming traffic to turn right through the gap in the central reservation. This is a serious driver fault for position normal driving, as we need to keep to the left hand side of the gap in the central reservation which is the safest position allowing other road users to also turn right. After hearing the warning chime, decrease your speed. Make sure it doesn't go over the speed limit. Unfortunately, before the speed change, we increased over the limit incurring a serious driver fault. Hear the warning chime once more. Bear in mind, we want to decrease our speed here we are still increasing and go over the speed limit once more and incur another serious driver fault. Are you aware of the speed limit? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, so just be careful because we're a little bit... Yes, fast, yeah. I don't want you getting any points on this camera here, yeah? Okay. At the roundabout, turn left, first exit, please. We're approaching the same set of double roundabouts that we had at the beginning of this video. Now remember the directions, straight at the first roundabout and left at the second roundabout. Now remember the left lane is the best lane for going straight and this will also serve us for the second roundabout where we're turning left. So where are we going to go? It's straight at the first roundabout. Okay and left at the second. Okay. We must check our left mirror now before making the decision to move into the left lane. As no other road users were affected, this would be an advisory driver fault. In hindsight, if we had used the left lane for the first roundabout, this would have put us in the correct lane for the second roundabout to turn left which would avoid us from having to change lanes in between the two roundabouts. And I'd like you to take the next road on the right, please. Right, okay. This one, yeah? Yes, please. Okay, a bit further down, there's another road on the right. You might see the street sign. Yeah. I'd like to take the next road on the right. Yeah. 
And if you can find a convenient place to pull up on the left, please. Definitely. Yeah, anywhere in these parking bays will be fine. Lovely. Yeah, and just relax, secure the car, relax. There you go. That's the end of your driving test, Eduardo. Mm -hmm. And how do you feel that went? I mean, it's also because. Uh, you know, in the roundabout, I know on a roundabout, you have to give, you have to give way to the people coming from the right. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, I saw the lady; she was going to go on the right yep. because she was she was signal. Mm -hmm. That's why I went through mm -hmm. to the left. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, but the highway code tells us yeah. we must give priority to yeah. everybody on yeah, the, to right. the right. Yeah. Even so, even if you don't, even if you can say she she's going right or left. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very common. So um, lots of people will go yeah. when there's that car, like you explained, in the very far right lane with the right signal. But we must wait. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else that comes to mind? Any questions? And also, you know the story? Mm-hmm. As well, a few times, two times, three times. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, I can see you've got lots of skills, though. You're a good driver. Obviously, this is a new car, isn't it? So. Mm knowing the width of the vehicle, where the left is, is yeah. new, it's different. So yes, that happened a few times. Yeah. Anything else that comes to mind? And that's, and that's what the, the, you know, the curb. Yep. And that's how I hit. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay. All right. Um, should I go through the marks for you? Yeah. Okay, so unfortunately on this occasion, yeah. it wasn't, obviously you're aware of that, it wasn't a success. So yeah. uh, we haven't passed on this occasion. And I'll yeah. just go through the serious the, uh, the serious and the dangerous driver faults for you. Yeah. Uh, there's not many minor faults. I will highlight those on the video, but just to save time, we'll go over the, the, uh, the major driver faults. Yeah, yeah. serious. Uh, okay, so um, I'll try and do them in order. Uh, so how many serious do I have? Okay, good question. Thank you very much. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. 12, wow. yes. Okay, um, so after the manoeuvre, I won't do them in order now, but they're on the video in order, it doesn't matter. Uh, we m parked, and before we move away, yeah. I didn't see you look over your right shoulder. There was a few occasions where I wasn't really sure if we were twisting and looking out right over the right shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you see the, if you ever look at that bush, can you yeah. see the bush? The viewers may or may not see it. You see that beautiful bush, there's like yeah. two trees and it makes one big bush. Yeah. Oh, okay. See how you needed to see it? Yeah. You really need to twist and look. So that's the area that we want to check before we move away. Okay. Okay, uh, moving on. So the last one, double roundabouts here. Uh, you changed direction, so he wasn't too sure about where we were going to go. So you asked directions yeah. straight at the first about uh, yeah. straight at the first roundabout, left at the second one. Yeah. What happened is when we went through the first roundabout, and this is very common, so I'm just going to cancel yeah. that. Uh, and we're moving over to the left side for the second roundabout. Yeah. We need to check the left mirror yeah, the left, yeah. and then move across. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, for obvious reasons, there might be another road user. Okay, mm. uh, clearance you mentioned. So we got four for clearance. So we're we're getting too close to the curb. We were going to go over a curb. We did go over a curb. We were close to the pole, and the. Mm. I think that pretty much sums up the left side, okay? Yeah. Um, the roundabout you mentioned, so there was a lady that was coming around on the right side, you told me, you, you saw her, um, just misinterpreted whether you were allowed to go or not. Yeah. Now you know that you have to stop and wait, okay? Yeah. All right, moving on, um, we have use of speed. Mm. So at some point, I just addressed your use of speed because yeah. that was when we were on the dual carriageway, the bigger, yeah. faster road. Yeah. Um, we were going over the 40 once you got into the 40. So yeah. you, got a, you got a serious fault for that, for use of speed. And just before that change of speed yeah. on that road as well, we, we went up to 36 just before the 40 yeah, sign. Yeah. 
I failed one of my tests for doing 25 just before the 30 sign. Oh. So we must stay at the speed limit until we reach the sign. Yeah. That's where we can, yeah. you know, adjust our speed. Um, okay, um, moving down, we have the curb. You know, we kind of mentioned that. That mm. was the left when you were going to go on to the U-turn yeah. part. Sure. I just had to, you saw it in the, in the, in the mirror. The road, yeah. And then the U-turn. Ta-da! This is new to you. You may need to do this in your life, but I don't know if you'll be doing it on your driving test at North London. No, driving North London is quite normal. It's normal. Yeah, yeah this is weird. So here, because I think mm. that there isn't a lot of weird stuff, yeah. this has been put on the test. Mm. So what happened is we positioned into this red side here, yeah. which is actually where the oncoming vehicles, yeah, remember, yeah. different country, you're originally from Spain, we try and keep ourselves on the UK bit. So just where there's no markings, you're not sure, best okay. to keep to the left. And okay. then that way it allows space for other people to turn as well. Mm. So we just positioned on the wrong side. Okay. That's it. Yes. All right. It's been yeah. absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. I hope yeah. that you take something from this and yeah. you remember. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything that you want no, to ask? No, I mean, the, the speed limit is quite... I mean, because like, let's say if you're driving 40 and you get 42, mm -hmm. there shouldn't be like... Correct. Yes, 42, 41. Yeah, there shouldn't be a, a serious fault for that. Correct. One or two miles an hour over the speed limit most likely yeah uh not a serious fault i mean you don't need to drive perfect and as long as you drive safe yeah the speed limit yeah it does depend on i shouldn't really say this but it does depend on whoever's examining you yeah so, so it's something that yours what i've seen from my experience is you're correct they'll give you one or two mile an hour leeway but when it starts getting up to five miles an hour that's yeah. really where they're going to put pen to paper and mark it down so yeah just because we went up to like you yeah. know, five miles an hour, <laughs> six miles an hour above. So we because, just mark that down. Yeah, because a guy was saying in his in his driving test, he he what's it called? He hit the curve mm -hmm. three passed. times and he passed. Yeah, I know. I know. It's weird, isn't it? I've seen it. I've had people drive up the pavement, yeah. not intentionally and not being told, exactly where you were. You know the poles? Yeah. Gone right up the pavement yeah. and bounce back down. And they pass. Is the first of the examiner as well. I really can't say. Um, I'm just saying my opinions and sharing my experience, yeah. but it's strange. That's all I have to say. I mean, if you're trying to have a good day, then... Yeah, fingers crossed, huh? Mm. Yeah. My is on the 10th of May. Your driving's very good. Um, new car, new experience. I'm a complete stranger. Lots of nerves will be put on us and pressure yeah. will be put on us. So that will affect it. Obviously, that's going to happen on the test. New yeah. examiner, new person, maybe not new car. Yeah, that will help car, you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I could see your driving's good. It is good. Um, so don't cancel your test. Yeah. Go for your test. Um, obviously, this video may help you for little bits and pieces. Keep doing your lessons. Yeah. I'm sure you actually pass. Um, because I've noticed you, you're good, you can control the car, just some little bits and pieces, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No more, that's it. Nice one. All right, well, then, uh, another extra special thank you here to Eduardo. Yeah, yeah. And guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you've got any value from this. I've been Scott, this has been Eduardo. Stay safe, stay tuned, yeah. and we'll see you next time.